Wow, dude, this AK shoots like a 22. Well, dude, it literally is a 22. No, it's not. I'm handling it like an AK. No, man, like, check. Like, legitimately a 22. What's happening here? 22 training rifles. Let's talk about it. What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Classic Firearms. Kyle over here and we've got... Matt, what's up guys? Uh, how's it going, Matt? How's it going, Car Ramrod? <laughs> Ramrod, good having yeah. you over here. So Matt, we've got some cool stuff over here from Pioneer Arms. Yep. And I know this is your specialty yeah. because it's AK stuff. So I got a little AK platform, man. Yeah, all right, so what we have here is the Pioneer Arms 22 Long Rifle Military Style Trainer Rifle, uh, AK-47. Mm -hmm. And so this is in 22 Long Rifle. And you may ask yourself, Matt, you love 762 by 39 Why would you want an AK in 22 Long Rifle? Why and, wouldn't you? I mean, guys, there's actually a lot of really cool uses for a training rifle like this. So 762 by 39 is a fantastic cartridge. I love it dearly, but you know, it is known to be a little bit higher recoiling than some other commonly used cartridges. And so if you have a newer shooter, a smaller shooter, someone who, uh, you know, isn't necessarily, you know, experienced recoil before, maybe you want to get them acclimated to handling the firearm, you know, get the basics of using the iron sights and things, uh, then this gives you an option to do that with less recoil, less expense from ammunition. So you're gonna have, you know, the, the lower cost of 22 long rifle ammo, yeah. as well as that, you know, loaded negligible recoil. Absolutely, and you know what? And when it comes to recoil, of course you feel that recoil, but at the same time, a lot of people are scared of that big bang too, right? That's true. So it's going to have obviously less noise. Yep. And think about the US military. We just actually did a video on that one. US military used those new soldiers, mm -hmm. use exactly the same platform rifle that they were gonna use in battle, but in 22 caliber, to so militaries around the world yeah. have used 22 long rifle training rifles, yep. mm -hmm. uh, such as the K98, Mos de Gant. Yep. The U.S. had it for mm -hmm. both like the 1903 as well as current like M16s or not current but M16s. Back then, yeah. Um, so it, it's a, definitely an idea that uh, has been explored around the world. And you know, one of the great things about this specific rifle from Pioneer is that. It's not one of these cheap plastic, uh, you know, gonna be beat up by firing it kind of copies of an AK that you see on the market. This is used basically the same materials on a, almost a one for one basis. Now there are some exceptions, obviously the barrel has to be different, bolt carrier has to be different. Uh, you know, the fire control group's a little bit different, but as far as like the receiver, trunnion, the gas tube, these are basically a one for one exact copy Dude. of the original yeah. Pioneer rifles in 7.62x39. Check this out. So this is the 7.62x39 version. If I turn this around. You can't even tell yeah. what, which one is 22, right? Obviously they know which one it is now, but when you look at it, it is truly one to one. I understand you're gonna have different components because it's 22, so you're gonna have different barrel, mm -hmm. different obviously magazines. I understand different bolt, but it is exactly, it weighs about exactly the same too, right? Right, Almost. so you know, that's one of the great parts of is, uh, because it's using the same materials, you're gonna replicate the handling characteristics mm -hmm. of weight. The uh, sights are the same. Yeah. Uh, you know, you actually you can interchange furniture, so you could use any standard kind of Russian pattern furniture, so none of that Yugo furniture, it's very, very different. Yeah. Um, and a little caveat there, you know, with AKs overall, there can be some fitting required because, you know, specs are a little bit different from Russia to Romania yeah. to China. Even though they're using the same type of pattern furniture, uh, there can still be some fitting. But, you know, again, you could you could put this with your Magpul furniture or something like that. Um, but you're going to get the benefit of being able to train cheaper. Oh, and training. Cheaper. Yeah, well, not yeah. only learning, but training. If you want to just go out and get some trigger time, uh, practice the handling on yeah. and off with the safety, that kind the of thing. Mechanics of it. You know, you can do that with the 22 training rifle a lot cheaper. Now we're gonna we're gonna shoot them to yeah. get a comparison here. Um, but yeah, you know, I think that when it look when it comes to the appearance, the handling, you know, it's great that there's a product on the market that's not a two pound plastic toy feeling thing. Of course, yeah. Uh, you know, you've got something that's a real trainer rifle that's gonna prepare you much better for for the real thing. And you know what, besides all that, great points, man, and obviously cheaper, cheaper mm -hmm. ammo, but I don't have a problem with the 72 by 39 uh, recoil, right. but let's just admit, shooting 22 is fun. Absolutely. It just is fun. So if, even if you're not into trainer thing, you know, if you like, it's great for uh, 
firearm safety mm -hmm. which, uh, for your kids, younger people, obviously smaller people, what we talked about, mm -hmm. right? Getting acclimated to a trainer and all that. But even if you're not, even if you're capable of shooting the Barrett 50 BNG and all that stuff, still shooting yeah. 22 is fun. Plinking is one of the yeah. most yeah. fun ways to go out and practice firearm safety, yeah. practice firearms handling. Yeah. And I mean, there's just hardly anything that's better than yeah. setting up some small targets and plinking out the 22. And in this way, you're getting some practical exercise out of it as well because yeah. you're replicating those handling characteristics. I agree. And you know what I say? I say we shoot these things and you should, you're the AK guy. And I think we should have some sort of a competition and make this fun because 22 is fun, but we should have, I don't know. Okay. okay. You pick it, dude. Yeah, let's, it. Let's, let's, let's try something out. Um, now, you know, take a look at these magazines real quick. So obviously the magazines are a little bit different, you know. Uh, now what's cool about these is this is not an insert. Uh, this is, you know, a custom made magazine. Uh, these magazines are something that's coming readily available on the market. So it's not that uh, mm -hmm. you're going to have a hard time finding them. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think a competition sounds great. Uh, what do y'all think? Kai versus me? The uh, AK guy. You know, Cap like a Paldi versus Car Ramrod. Let's let's take, a, take, take it down it. range. Let's do it, man. All right, guys, we've moved down range a little bit. And before we get into that competition, uh, I think we're going to try to use the rifle for its intended purpose and give someone who's not experienced with AKs a chance to shoot the trainer. Uh, so this is Juliana. Hi, I'm Juliana. So Juliana is going to join us and you don't have uh, a lot of experience shooting AK style rifles, correct? That's correct. All right. So we're going to give you a shot to shoot the 22 trainer from Pioneer first and then maybe compare it to the big boy 762 by 39 version. Uh, what do you think? Sounds like a plan. Awesome. Let's do, Let's do it. All right. So we did a basic of uh, firearm safety, you know, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot and, and a basic explanation of the handling of the rifle. But uh, here we go, Juliana. Let's give this a try. So this has got an empty chamber, magazines in it. So we're going to pull down on the safety lever. Yep. Straight down. There we go. We're going to pull back on that charging handle and just let go when you get all the way to the rear. There you go. Nice. All right. So this rifle is ready to fire. We're going to back up a little bit from you now. Go ahead and get it in the proper stance. There we go. All right, so how did that feel, Juliana? Oh, let's uh, uh, go ahead and put it back on safe. It felt pretty good. I mean, I didn't really feel much recoil. Uh, it was pretty easy to shoot. Okay, so now we're gonna take the, the skills that you've obtained with this rifle mm -hmm. in, in how to align sights and things, and we're gonna try to apply it to the full 762 by 39 version. Uh, it's got some more recoil, so you wanna make sure you're holding that tight against your shoulder. But other than that, everything's gonna be basically the exact same. Yep, there we go. Here it is. You know what to do. First, yeah, get in a good position. Yeah, that safety, you gotta push it down, yep. There we go. All the way back. Ow. Nice. Good? Yeah. Uh, finger off the trigger. Hit my finger, funny bone. Finger off the trigger. There we go. Yeah, you can hold it, just finger on the side. There we go. And just lean a little bit forward. There we go. And now fire when you're ready, once you line up your sights. One at a time. Nice, that was a hit. trigger there you go what what do you think uh that one was definitely more powerful definitely felt more recoil but it was pretty fun to shoot all right but and you hit the first two times yeah. so obviously you know even though uh, not a lot of experience you know uh do you feel like you were able to take you know the the handling of this how to align the sights and things and apply it to that rifle yeah i definitely feel like warming up with that rifle was good and like helped me know where or how to aim and just was definitely good practice. I don't think I would have made it on the second gun if I didn't start with that one. Awesome. So yeah, you know, building confidence and skills to be able to, uh, I exactly. mean, to me, it looked like she was having more fun with that one. <laughs> it's just like, bang, bang. You were just plinking pretty good. Yeah. That one was yeah. just easy peasy. Yeah. yeah. All right. So yeah. Kaya, uh, you challenged me to some kind of contest. Oh, I just, you know what? I just want to have a competition. It's fun. Okay. So yes. what, are we, what are we thinking here? Uh, well, first of all, thank you, Juliana. Appreciate you. Oh, that was right. really good. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Um, what do I have in mind? I mean, we got the shot timer, so it should involve some time. Okay. Right. And what do you think? Just maybe. I don't know, man. I just want to have a competition, like fire. What do you think? All right, guys. Five... Well, we're gonna figure this out, yes. and we'll be right back with you. That's right. Yes. All right, guys. We figured out the competition finally. 
Finally, exactly. These guns got 25 round magazine capacity. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire 50 rounds total. 50 yard line and 100 yard line targets. Two targets down range. Matt's gonna fire 25 rounds into 50 yard line and then reload, fire another 25 to 100 yard line mm -hmm. with a shot timer. And every miss is going to count a second. Okay. You understand the rules? Yeah. So yeah. don't miss. Don't miss. All right, shooter ready? Ready. All right, on the beep. We got four misses there, right? So that was really good shooting, man. Only four misses there. I count how many misses he had there. We'll, we'll check the camera. We'll yeah. check the camera. But unfortunately, shot timer didn't pick up everything. And at 16 seconds while you were still shooting over here at the 50 yard line, it kind of stopped. Uh, and that's the 22, guys. It's So maybe we're some, just going to have to go off of uh, some misses and stuff. Some, yeah. yeah, some hits and stuff. I don't know. But, but that was really good shooting. So it's my turn now. All right, yeah, man. Let's All get right. you loaded up. All right. All right, so reviewing the footage kind of on the camera to get a start and stop time, I shot a raw one minute, two seconds. Yeah. Uh, Kaya said I missed four times on the first target. Might've been five, but we're gonna go with four. Yeah. Uh, and then I got 13 hits, 12 misses on the 100 yard target. Total score, one minute and 19 seconds. Yeah, right? something like that, yeah. exactly. Yeah. All right, so uh, Kaya, you're up. I'm ready. You ready for Let's the course fire, sir? All right. Shooter, you understand? Yep. Skill with an AK definitely coming. There we in. go. All right. I can't even see that thing. That was gnarly to see, man. I can see. I, I hit the button. What? I hit the button again. I didn't mean to. Ah, oh, we gotta review the footage we again. Review the footage again. All right, Kai. So go? we we reviewed the footage again. Yeah. Uh, One forty-two is your raw time. Yeah. So already second place, first yep. loser. Yep. But then we counted your hits. You had one miss on, on the first 50. target. Yep. And then on the second target, you had thirteen misses. Thirteen 12 misses. Hits. Yep. So like. 150, I don't know, what is that, 158? 
It's the second place. Yeah, it's second place. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. So, appreciate you coming out. I think that uh, yeah. certainly being a little bit more familiar probably with the open sights of the AK-47, more familiar with this uh Dude, I definitely magazine. felt it. Yeah, I, uh, so when you actually look at my 100 yard shoot, I was really having a hard time yeah. hitting the target at all at the very beginning. And then I figured it out. I was, uh, I, I don't know why, you probably maybe could help me with this. I thought I was dead on. Front sight, rear sight lined up perfectly dead on. And I was just going high over it. Once I put it at the very low of it, like I'm talking about outside the target, below the silhouette at the base and I was making my hits. You know, one thing that a lot of people who aren't uh, familiar with the AK yeah. sometimes do, and this might've been what you could have been doing. Yeah. Uh, so there are protective ears around the front sight. Yeah. And if you notice, uh, those ears are generally slightly taller than the actual front sight. So maybe yeah. you could have been using one of those ears. No, no, no. Okay. I was using, the front sight right. was perfectly lined up in the middle, but right. I was, so my windage was just fine. Okay. It was just the elevation. Just the elevation. As soon as I went down low, I was making hits. Um, well, you do have to make sure you're bearing that front sight into that notch, make sure they're yeah. perfectly even. So it's really easy to, to but you know, I mean, still maybe yeah. spend some more time on the 22 trainer, get I, some more training on the platform. I do, I really need to, yeah. All right, but yeah, yeah I mean, so this is a, a fantastic option yeah. on the market as far as getting, again, younger people, smaller people, people who are inexperienced and not yeah. used to recoil on the AK platform for an inexpensive cost uh, and ammunition and uh, really being able to train those fundamentals before you move up to full power 7.62 by 39, or, you know, yeah. 5.45, 5.56, you know, AKs come in different calibers, but, uh, but yeah, guys, it's I- It's a pleasure to shoot, yeah. Uh, you know, again, 25 round magazines made in Poland. Check out the Pioneer 22 military style trainer rifle, and uh, yeah, don't forget, yeah. Uh, we also have a lot of cool stuff going down at CF Contest. Really cool Don't know stuff, if you're party yeah. people, but there's a party over there. <laughs> oh, there's business up front, party in the back. There you go. CFcontest.com for sure. But uh, I think that's about it for yeah, me. That's good, man. All, All right. right. So good guys, times. We appreciate you coming by. God bless. See you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.